Hey everybody, it's Andy aka Max Rider. We are back with another unboxing video. This one is coming from Norman, Oklahoma. Uh, this is an interesting shaped <laughs> packing thing. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what this is. It kind of rattles. So, I have no idea what we're dealing with here. See, now in this case, the scissors would probably work a little better. Maybe not. That's a very sharp knife, which is good. This is... Oh! Wait! Huh. This is our point. It looks new. Okay. So I ordered our point uh, through Amazon. I thought I ordered it from like a... Uh, from a company, but I guess it came from an individual. Tartan Asia Extreme. Our point. The point of no return. The best military guys meet supernatural evil flicks since Dog Soldiers, San Francisco Bay Guardian. Korea's highest grossing horror film from 2004. Uh, the latest in a line of innovative, brilliantly directed, and supremely atmospheric East Asian horror movies. During the Vietnam War, a South Korean army base begins receiving mysterious radio transmissions from a patrol that went missing six months earlier. A shell-shocked commanding officer, Wu Sung Kam, and a ragtag military unit are sent into the desolate stretch of land known as R Point to gather clues as to the whereabouts of the missing soldiers. What appears to be a clear search and rescue mission turns into something far more terrifying than any battle. Special features, director's commentary, making of R Point, creating 1972 Vietnam, Special effects featurette, original theatrical trailer, English and Spanish subtitles, that's key. This is, it's a Korean movie, so it's in Korean. Tartan Asia Extreme New Releases, uh, technical features, anamorphic widescreen, 185.1, Dolby Sur Digital Surround, blah, blah, blah. Uh, running time, 107 minutes. And it's in Korean. As long as it's got the subtitles, it should be fine. Pull it out, make sure that the disc is actually new and not just somebody recovering an old one. A little banged up, that's okay. Oh, it's still sealed. Okay, that that's good. I don't like these sealing things, these little stickers that they put on them, but at the same time, I don't know if people actually go to the trouble of faking it. If, I guess they would if they're going to go to the trouble of repack it, redoing the, the shrink wrap, but... Oh wow, that looks great. This looks very good. So I saw this, Ross Payton uh, did a little stream about this, and... Um, yeah, cool. <clears throat> and it looked good. It looks like something I... And I enjoyed watching what I saw. So, uh, there you have it. There is... Oh, my goodness, dog. Why? There's our point. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it. And I will talk to you all next time.